Okay. So for this time, new version, uh, already actually I already released on last month, uh, 19 of May. So this one, this time enhancement, uh, don't have any, uh, any program have to install. Uh. Like last, last version, we have to install the .NET Framework 4.6, 4 uh, but this time no, don't have any requirement. Just install as usual, but also have to require same as last version of 4.6 for .NET Framework. So for when I update, you have to take note of when you up, after upgrade the Dynamo new version, I also have to upgrade to the server socket, process manager and the client socket. Okay, so later you, uh, later uh, we will send you this slide so you can click on this, this uh, button. You can link to the website to check the details. Of. Hmm. So what we have already enhanced and fix the bugs as well for this time. So every time you, some of the end user, they will got the question how to update or upgrade. So for the dyno mode upgrade, actually you can click on the help here, then you click check for updates and then here you, you just follow the sequence to click. If let's say you want, uh, if let's say here got show the apply hotfix, then you can apply the hotfix first, then and the next you will upgrade the, you do the upgrade. Off. Okay, so after you click hotfix or upgrade, they will close the dyno mode, then you will see this screen smart updated. So, uh, if let's say you are the main PC, you can directly to upgrade here. Lah. If you are the workstation PC, you have to wait the server main PC there to upgrade first off for, for have to take note of this one. And then if you see the screen here, you can see uh, here got the information for you. Uh, now got what version can update or upgrade. So for here, if let's say got show the hotfix, then you just click hotfix first. After you update all the hotfix, then you can up you click the upgrade to new latest version. When running, when after you click either you click hotfix or upgrade here, you will show this one downloading process. So you have to wait until finish. Up. So how to upgrade the server socket here, I will show here how to upgrade the server socket. So this one you have to upgrade on the server PC or main PC there, of course this one server socket is at the server main PC there. So you can right click on the icon at the, so at, at the right hand side bottom there. Okay. Up then you click the show, then you click the check updates. So here you can see upgrade file or update file to here. Then what show here, then you just click on. So this is the way to upgrade the server socket. So this one, uh, when upgrade also same, follow the sequence. We uh, always we will update the hotfix first, then until the hotfix finish, then you can upgrade to latest version. If you got update, then you have to update first. <laughs> okay, but everything before you do for the update or upgrade, you have to take note, is it your cover, is it to expired? If expired, if expired, then you have to renew first. Off. So if not, if you no renew, then you cannot do the upgrade version. Okay, so for the part here, I got mentioned to here as just now, you have to click the hotfix if you found the hotfix version. If you got the new update, then you have to click update. At last will be upgrade version. So this is the way to upgrade. Then if you are the workstation PC, after the server PC upgrade to latest version, if you are the workstation PC, when you log in, you will see the application not updated, but here you got mentioned the database version is updated. Then you just click yes. 
after that you will system will prompt another screen like this one then you will see upgrade or update file then you click the upgrade or update lah. okay for the poll system you click on the function there then you click system setup you click until the last part here activation and system update actually here on this screen you just right click on the welcome screen here then you can see this listing then you check on the activation and system update so after you click just now the activation and system update you just click the check updates you will see this screen also so you just click update or upgrade lah. so for post also same you have to update the version no more the update version then you only to click the upgrade version so every time to do the update must be do the backup first uh, to forget to do this cause sometimes i'm not sure is it the live uh, not stable maybe uh, cause the database when when updating the data maybe some of the tech issue to to cause the data got some problem uh. so maybe you can try to back up first okay for the backup how to back up for the dyno mode we you can go to common module system utility there you can file the database validation then you click on database backup you will see the database where to backup and then here you can see the database backup on the name this is the name what date and what time so for the database we will back up on the server pc the main pc not the workstation pc if you are the user to log in the dyno mode on workstation pc then you have to take note that data database will not on the workstation pc uh, will be on the server pc so have to take note this one uh. okay another backup method is when you close the dynamo screen you will see this one when you log out or close the dynamo screen you will see this screen so here got few options here got one option is the backup so you just click the backup you will see this same screen also so you can do the backup so this is also same the backup will be on the uh, server pc main pc there and then another method is you can backup on the dynamo server socket there so this is available on server pc only because this socket only at the server pc there so you can right click the server socket icon then you click show you upside here you click the database tab and you click on backup you select your database then here to select where you want to backup so you click the this uh, icon here then you will see this screen prompt up then you put the file name and where you want to save then you click save after you click save you will come back to this screen backup data uh, backup dynamo database screen then you click backup now system will ask you are you want to backup now then you click yes so if the backup successfully to do backup then you will see this screen the last screen you click ok so this is the way to backup on server socket for the post same as here also click the function then you click database maintenance okay for here before you run the backup, you have to select where you want to backup. Or you click on this folder or click F2 button. Then you create a file name or you, or if let's say you already create a file name, then you just select. Or. So here you either can save on your pen drive or external hard disk or local hard disk also can. Then you click OK. So before you back up, you can try to do the review database index here, and then you you start to back up. So after finish, you will see backup complete.
then you can try to find just now the backup directory there. Is it got the backup file? These two backup file. One is the report format. One is the database backup. Okay. So after just now finish the update, how to do the update and how to do the backup. So now we will start for this content for new enhancement. So today we got seven topic. Actually, this is the, for Dynamo only. La. Still got later, still got some features for the Touch Pro or Touch Pro MP. So today we will start for the performance enhancement for 2021.2 20, version. What we have enhanced on performance enhancement. So we got the search limit control pagination. So what is the, this function? So this function actually you have to set, you have to enable first, cause this one will not automatic enable. You have to enable on the common module there, set up company default setting. So this search limit control pagination is the auto loop next page of record when scroll down the grid. So this is the page you have to set first. So you have to set at the company default setting there. You take on the chat box here, enable. Then you search limit control record. Actually, this one we already set default 100. Lah. If you want less or more, you can depends on yourself what how much you want to set here. Okay. For this one, search limit control application screen as below. So this uh, only got this screen, this part or got this function only. La. So for the inventory module, supplier module, customer module, and accounting module got this uh, enhancement. So when you open the stop maintenance, you will see after you search the stock ID or any, uh, you search after you search for, uh, the things, you only will see this one show page up. All right, and then you will see the actual search record could be more, it was kept uh, 100 records. Or just now we set 100 record. So maybe I try to see, I try to check here for you. Okay. So for here, for just now the function is you click the spot here after you search. <clears throat> okay. So just now we have to set the common module, set up company before setting here. Okay. So here system behavior, you take this one, then set. After you save, you go to the stop. Okay. You try to search. Okay, so every time, cost by default, by default, it will not show the just now show page up. Lah. So after you search, cost every time, if let's say your, you have your stop maintenance there got many items, every time to load, if you use a lot of time to loading the, if let's say you want to list show all. So here now we will set time to load all, cost by default you load 100 at record first. So if let's say here, you see uh, this one I got 36 page. So you, you load until next, then you will only to load second 100, uh, second uh, 100 items here. If let's say you here, maybe you want to look until thousand item. So you click on 10, page 10 here, then you start to look. So you can see here, we show thousand of the record. So at on my system here, actually on my data here, actually got a 3,000 more, 700 more record. That's why I got seven is uh, 37 page up. Okay, so this is the function. So 
here also will, as I just now show you, you can select the what uh, if let's say you how many item you want to load, and you can select the page page based on the page then to search up and then you will loading all item. So here okay, okay, okay. For this one, uh, if let's say some of the user they want to generate the invoice for the Shopee invoice, they want to use the prefix document number by year, month, setting. For last time, actually, uh, we don't have the setting for do the year, month now. We have to use the normal method for me. For now, we uh, for the Shopee store uh, here, we do the enhancement for the this one uh, for the invoice generated by the year month. Okay, so now you can set as this one to do the year month. Okay, you can set the prefix what you want. And the year month format. So the Y, if let's say you want to set year and month, you can set Y, Y, M, M. Y is a small cap, M is a big capital. Then you will see the sample output like this one. So you have to take this one up, enable running number by year month. So it will follow the running number by every month. So for this one, uh, if let's say you got set January, got January uh, number setting, February got February number set setting. <clears throat> So here, when you generate the invoice, uh, either by dynamic the screen generate invoice, or you do the you do it by the our process manager, it will do the running number for the year month. You can see this one may uh, order it will generate by May invoice prefix. March invoice will be generated on March prefix for this time enhancement for the email function. So uh, we have to rewrap the email function. For last time, uh, if let's say user want to use the, this email function to send some of the document, they got the, some of the requirement and the limitation. The limitation is user have to, uh, the PC for the user to use have to install the 64-bit outlook. If let's say the user don't have to, uh, this one 64 bit outlook, they have to, they have not to, to use to the email function. No? That means uh, this issue will cost some, uh, quite often a lot of uh, customer required to enhance it. That's why uh, we have to rewrap this email function. For currently, for this one enhancement, user can use their own specific email server such as the Google, Yahoo, Outlook, and others, or the, some of the company, their own email. That's why uh, user also able to define their own email account credential to set email ID. For this one email function only available, these two document types. So that means for the, this one, these two module we have we only can do the email. So up uh, at the customer module here, like the quotation, sales order, DO, invoice, debit, CN, and the receipt. Also, we have to, we also able to use this email for supplier module here. We can do the quotation, PO, GRN, any supplier document we here at this distinct you're also able to use. But why for customer statement listing here, I've got put three star here. Uh, later I will, uh, will be explained on the next part. Okay, so now I have created a scenario for this uh, quotation. If let's say the user want to send the quotation by our email function, after they create the quotation, they just select their own format here, then just click the email button on this screen. Okay, so 
the first time they have to do the configuration for the default email account as sender. So this one actually by each uh, Dynamo user. That means if let's say you log in as a smart user or uh, alpha. So if let's say the settings already set on smart user, then uh, alpha user log in. Actually alpha user is not available to send the email. They have to, for alpha user there, they have to create and configure their, his own email account. So that means uh, this assisting now, you, you log in for this use uh, as a user. So after you configure the email account, then at the next part, next time you use the, to do the send quotation, you will not, no need uh, to set again, no? cause you already set the first time already. So here, how to set the email account here. Once you click the configure email account from this small uh, site, more icon here. So you have to set, set your own name, your name for who sent the email. So you can put your company name and your name here. Then you can put the email address here. And then you have to set the mail server information. So this one is depends on the what you, uh, email you're using. For our site, our smart here, we use our own email. That's why we have to set our own mail smart at .com. And then the port here, we have to set uh, X7, I'm sorry, 5X7. Some of the port will be uh, 465. So this one, it depends on the SMTP you, which you're using. So here, the time up will be default set as a 60 second. Enable SSL is depend, but if let's say you use the Google Gmail, you have to enable, you have to take on the checkbox here to enable the SSL. Then the audit, authenticate with a username and password here, you have to key in your email username and password to here. Then after you've done the setting, you just save it. Okay. The configure default template, you have also to set the first time also for one time only. So actually now I set the setting is for quotation here. So uh, if let's say the user want to send the invoice, then they have to configure one time at the invoice document there by the user. That means here actually is a, a here also you say uh, applicable to all document type which have set email function. That means if you got set, then you have you can do the setting here. Okay, so here if for the if configure the default template, actually you can set your uh, email template to ready to here. So once you send the email, they will follow the template you preset. So here you no need, uh, when you want to send the email, you no need to type anything. So here you can see uh, our site, we can set the CC to who, BCC to who. We can use the semicolon or comma to separate as a, the, the email separate. So this one is depends on your site. Lah. So either you can use the comma or semicolon also can. And then the subject here and the the who here, you can set this type of the setting here. You can put the document number and document card name. If, if let's say you set like this, when you send this email, it will auto capture. So here you no need to type the document number here or the, uh, the customer name, the card name, the card file here. So here will be uh, every time you no need to set for different user. You, you, if let's say you already set like this already, here will follow. Uh, if let's say you select this one, APC and jumper hard. Here will be when you send the email, we will the APC and jumper hard. 
for the document number here, cost here, you can see the document number is a WQ-21 slash 06 slash 001. So when you send the email to the recipient, here you will see the document number is the WQ-21 slash 06 slash 001 here from the company like that. So later I will show you the sample. So uh, we can set two mode. One is the plain text one, another one is the HTML mode. So the difference is, okay, sorry. So later I will explain the detail for these two tab. Here uh, you can check the notes here for the, just now I see the setting. If let's say uh, some of the recipient name you want to enclose by indicate the recipient name, then you can enclose the input uh, these two symbol, then you can put the example like this customer name here, then you put your uh, uh, email address. So when you send to this recipient, only show the name, you will not show the email address. So just now I got set about the document number. This one is a mail merge enable, if let's say you want. So document number here, you can set this type of format, so it will be convert to the document number such as this one is quotation. So we show the quotation number. If let's say you send the uh, uh, document is a uh, invoice, you will show the invoice number. So the card name as just now I sent, if let's say the recipient is your customer, they will show the customer name. If the recipient is the supplier, you will show the supplier name here. And then uh, here also will be put the document date. So it converted to the document date. Lah. Then here will be the format like the YYYY-MM-WD like this one. So this is the format we prefix already. So when you send, you will follow this kind of uh, format for the date. So here you can see this one is the message mode. So we got two mode. It's the as I just now said. Here got the plain text. Another one is the HTML. So here you can see if plain text, it will be just text only. Lah. It cannot put the photo. For the HTML here, you can put the photo like this one picture. So you can attach the picture like, like this sample. And then here uh, have to take note is HTML format, uh, not every HSMTP can support. Lah. That's why uh, before you set, you have to try this is it your Gmail or Hotmail there? Is it possible to send this type of a setting? Uh, if let's say they support, then you can set this one HTML format. Lah. So as I try here, my site to try the HTML format uh, able to use uh, Gmail, Gmail able to, to send by HTML format. And then the hot meal, I also got try, so also can. Uh, so here you we can set at here you can see this part to this part. So to this part actually is the email we already set on the customer card file. If let's say the customer card file here you got set, so uh, it will auto insert to this part. If let's say you want to add more email to here, you also can put the comma or semicolon here. But uh, at the setting card file here, the email address is a maximum length 100 character. Uh, here, maybe you want to take note. If let's say uh, you want to more a bit, so when you come to Maybe here you insert three or four ID. Maybe the length is too too long, then you cannot insert ID. Uh, if let's say like that, then the last one, maybe the fifth one, you can try to insert on this part. Cause here to this part on this configuration screen there can uh, unlimited. Lah. Just the, under the our card file there only can set maximum 100 character only. So this part you have to take note. Lah. And then the this one, uh, before you send, you can click 
this icon PDF uh, button, you uh, you can preview the attachment. It will you can uh, double check before you send. Uh, that's mean, and then once you confirm everything, then you come to this one. Click the send email. It will show the email sent successfully if no issue uh. So this is the sample as just now I said. Here you can see uh, this one quotation will put the quotation number because uh, just now uh, the sample I set is the document number like this one. So output to send the, after you send the email, the output will be like this. And then just now uh, I got set the customer, uh, no, my name. When you configure the, configure the email account, you can set the name and the email. Uh, this part. So this one, you can see the email there will be uh, like this, this sample. And then the attachment also will be attached right here. And then, okay, you can see this one, uh, the CC one got email, another one, how come no email address here? This is the sample as I set for this one. You can in, indicate, insert the name by these two symbols at the name there, then you put the email address. So it will come up the email, but when you try to click this name, you, will, you can see the email address for this recipient. And then here you can see, just now I put the customer name, uh, document card name, sorry. The document card name here, you can see the output will be show the customer name, the recipient name, either customer or supplier here. Here is the different, the plan text for mode and the HTML mode. If let's say you, you set the HTML mode, you will see the email output will be like this part, the right hand side this part. For left hand side this part is the plan text mode. So this is the sample. Okay, configuration the email account here. I got to the sample for you. So maybe you try if let's say you are the Gmail user, Hotmail user, and the Office 365 user. For the Gmail user have to take note, you have to go to the Google account there to click this icon when you uh, access, you can click this icon to here. Then here you can see the account. You click the account, you will come to this security here. You turn on this less secure app asset. Cause if let's say you don't have set this one, your Gmail unable to send the email go up. That's why here for the Gmail have to take Gmail user have to take note. For this one, have to take the enable SSL, Hotmail also, and then the Office 365 also have to enable. So you have to take it. Here I got put the reference uh others email the SMTP sample here. So uh, this one, I also Google search one now. So maybe you quite, you can try to Google search it for the SMTP you use, then uh, what, which port you want, you will, uh, you have to use. So this one, maybe you can try to check the reference by this link uh, later, uh, we send you the email for attach this uh, PowerPoint. You can click this link to as a reference. The next one will be the batch email function. Actually, batch email function, we got two types. Uh. Now, uh, the first one is uh, actually is uh, by customer. So how, how to work it, uh, later I will show. For this one, batch email, actually just for the customer statement listing only. That's why, uh, 
I just now got put the trade star there. So at the moment, we just support for customer statement listing. And then this one, batch email, you have to purchase the license for the batch email. So this one, maybe you can uh, try to find out our salesman, salesperson. If let's say you got interest for it after this uh, webinar, then uh, they will let you know the price, how much you, let's say you want to purchase. But for just now, the email function is no license, email license control. That's why uh, it's, you can use, you can use uh, for just now the email function. If let's say you can, you try the email, just now the email function, uh, you, you file, file up is, uh, so far it's okay, no problem. Then maybe you can try the bash email function. Uh. So cause this one, uh, when I try to do the slide, I got tried the setting, actually it's quite uh, powerful, uh, this thing, this, 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 uh, this one. And then uh, for this one, batch email, actually we got the wizard style. We can step by step here to do the email process. So uh, you will not miss for any step here. Uh. Actually the step, will be follow only. The statement also attached as the PDF file will be auto produced for each selected user, selected customer. That's why, that's mean if let's say you select few customer hit there, it will, uh, every user will be attached the PDF for every selected user, a customer. Okay. So this is the customer segment screen. Now you will be see the big difference on this screen. Cause the statement here you can see is by customer or by email group. So now I will dis uh, explain how to use by customer first. By customer means you have to select by, uh, the customer, lo, which one you want to do the best email. If you don't have the best email, actually you also can use the this one. Uh, normal email function, but this one email only, uh, if let's say you want to send 10 statement for 10 customer. So you have to one by one to you, this one email to send out. Lo. So you have to do the filter for cust first customer. Then you send, click the email to send second, you filter the second, uh, customer. Then you click the, this email button to send. But if you say you got the best email, you can select multi select uh, the just now the 10 customer at the listing here. Then you click the best email to send to your the 10 customer. Lah. Okay. So here email attachment actually we can buy PDF or by Excel. Lah. If let's say you have the good Excel format already amended before, then you may try the Excel format. So the format is the SLSS format. Lah. If let's say you don't have to do the format nicely, you can try to see that cause this one, uh, if default format here, actually you, you send by Excel, actually will be, uh, the format will be a diff hard to see clearly for the, will be, you can try first. Lah. So if let's say you want to use the, your, if let's say you have your own format at the Excel to send to your customer, maybe you can try it. Lah. Okay. So this is the difference by email for or batch email if let's say you selected by customer. So after you click the batch email, if let's say you got few customer already selected on the listing to ready to send. Then you click the batch email. It will come up this wizard. So you just follow the step. So this is the welcome screen for the statement. And then you can see the email message. Here you have to set the email as message as just now. You have to configure the email account and the default template here. Here you have to set the, actually here is the, you, 
system user default email account. How I say it's a system user default. This one is the, if let's say, now you, as just now I said, if let's say you log in the user is your name under your name, maybe Alpha. So this one configuration is under setting, configuration setting is by Alpha one. If let's say uh, you got another uh, user called maybe uh, Alex or Eugene like that, then you can set the system use. So another user, you have to log in then you to configure the setting. <clears throat> so the template also as same as just now. So this one, every user have to set their own account and the template. Lah. These two settings also one time for the user only. That means now I set already, so I no need to set second time. Unless you got setting the format there, or setting that you want to change, maybe you want to change the email account. You don't want to use company account, email account, maybe you want to use the Gmail, then you have to configure again, then you change the SMTP. Here I already mentioned this one is for one time only to do the configuration default email account only for the each custom uh, dynamic user. And then the template also can set the blank text format or HTML format. The setting same as just now uh, on, on the email setting there. But here you can set the document date. Here will be converted to be the statement as at date. That means if let's say here you put the date until 31st May, for this, cause you set the range is, if let's say you set the range is May lah, like this one, 1st of May until 31st May. Here, the document date format here, you set, you will show the 31st May as at the date. Here, you also can set the document card name as just now I uh, show you. If let's say you put this type of set form, uh, format here, you will show the recipient customer name or the supplier name depends on the recipient is the customer or sorry this one is a customer statement that's why here should be show the customer name sorry so this one cost the here is a customer statement that's why here only document card name will show is a customer name okay so after just now the setting, these two settings you done, you already done the plain text format or HTML format, which you already done. You will come to the recipient list. Oh. Cause if let's say just now, here you already filter the supplier already. I'm sorry, you filter the customer already. Here will be show the list of the customer. If you want to opt out some of the recipient, you don't want to send for the customer, you still can uncheck here before you send the email. So here maybe I check is a for customer. Maybe the first one I don't want, I still can uncheck here then come to the complete list thing here, will be show for uh, three only. That's why here uh, you still can choose uh, the, your recipient. That's why here you show choose your recipient. And then actually you come in this screen before you click the, before you come to this complete screen, actually here will not show the recipient listing here. You have to click the app selected. That means you've selected this one recipient. Once you click, you will show here. That's why here I was mentioned before click app selected recipient, actually bottom here is blank. Therefore have to click the app selected recipient to tentative email listing. And then here you can see one more sense. Uh, 
if let's say you already confirm you want to send then you just click send you will show the process it will show if let's say fail if success it will show the success to send up if the fill email process email you feel to send if let's say fill you still can click one more time to try to resend until uh, you you can click until you success to send if let's say you try few time again to know what is the issue maybe you can click the email process here to check uh, what's the issue cannot send out okay for here you have to take note for send again it will just retry for the few email on it if let's say success one the system will not uh, resend again that's why here you can see when i click one more time on it it will uh, retry send cup here will be at uh, increase one more on it the success one will will, will be will not uh, to send again not as been okay so for here if let's say you cannot click in to see the details because you can uh, adjust the column or you can use your mouse hover around here then you can see the detail message as like this one here you can see cost uh, i i got i do the sample uh, fill for the fill email to send up cost the uh, email address uh must contact a domain cost this one i put one 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 like that that's why cannot send out uh, uh, cannot send out uh. that's mean system will retrieve if let's say uh this is not a email address it will uh show you the log file here then you can try to check so this is the sample to send up based on just now i do the setting here as uh, just now you will see the date here as at the date and then the customer name will be beside dear here and then here you can see the different as just now i show the plan text and html mode okay so here have to see the your part of just now i show you the document card name and document date here as the sample here you can see this is the sample come up output uh, will be like this so here if let's say you any question maybe you can try to contact our smart here then we will try to follow up your if let's say you have any question here okay for the last part okay so just now is batch email function is by your selected customer and then here we got one more is the function also batch email this one is uh, by your own email group okay for here also uh, for the customer statement listing only and then this also same as just now the batch for have to purchase the batch email license for this side here you can see the process by batch email based on the configuration email group here will be got the field setting you have to take note we got enhanced on this field setting the function actually applicable as just now uh, customer statement listing screen by choosing the email group as a statement option and then email group filtering would be shown instead of a customer filtering we added few setting at the common module there set up got the company email account and the company template and then have to the customer module there we got the set up about the customer statement email group and then the customer maintenance screen added the email group statement id so this part later i will show on the next uh next, next slide 
here you can see the wizard. So here also got the wizard to do the step by step to send the email. Okay. As just now I mentioned, the added the new function actually is at the customer uh, common module set up. You can see the this company email account. Okay, actually this one company email account, the settings same as just now you set the user uh, user default email account, but this one is a cost here already mentioned, this one is the for company email account. That means if let's say you represent the company or represent your department to send the email to your customer, then you can set the company email uh, this one company email account based on the department or based on your whole company then you can see set the setting so this setting actually is allowed to maintain unlimited company email account to represent as a company uh, official email account sent to the recipient you can represent the, uh, your sales department, service department, and admin department. Uh, this is the sample. So here actually uh, should be not put the personal email address. Uh, you have to put sales department, sales uh, uh, alliance, smart dash at dot com. Uh, Cause this one uh, is a sample. That's why I put my personal email on it. Then you also have to set the Google, uh, sorry, the SMTP outgoing mail server port. So actually this one, uh, same as just now the setting on the user default configure email setting there. Here also to put the authenticate with the user name and the password. Username here, or oh, as I just now mentioned, this one you, you represent the company. Actually, here you have to put the company email address as well, and the password for the this one email. Okay, and then the common module there set up. We got one more the company email template. Okay, here just now, uh, I already set we set the email account. Uh. Here we got the one more company email template. That mean, just now, if let's say you got you got set the sales department uh, for the email group ID, sorry, for the email account ID, then you have to set one more the template to represent the sales department. Then you can put the CC BCC to who? Maybe you can put PCC under your personal email or BCC under your personal email as well. Okay. The uh, format also like just now, same as you can put the document card name, but for this one, since this one is uh, represent the company to send, maybe here you can set the regard here is uh, under the which department, which company and the company uh, telephone number. Okay, actually the setting almost same, just here you have to set it's a based on your company uh represent your company one so you have to set based on the company uh template lah. okay also can set the unlimited this one uh email template you can set as many as you want and then here you can put the multiple default cc or bcc lah. as just now i mentioned you can put the comma or separate uh, semicolon to separate the email. Okay, another one is a customer statement email group. Actually, it's located at the customer module. Set up, you can come to this customer statement email group. Actually, this one is a uh, fast assignment for you to configure. Lah. That means if let's say you got the sales department, the you can as uh, set the just now the e company uh, account ID to here you insert here and then the template for the company one you can insert to here here will be do the group if let's say 
uh, sales department just now, I got two group of the customer. That's why I can set sales department group A for this email group ID, sales department group B, then I can set. That's why here you can separate, uh, you can do the setting for group A customer, group B customer to here. So you can do the plan up. Lah. So, uh, and then to link, actually once you set to here, the customer uh, which you select to here, it will directly to link to the customer maintenance screen there. Later I will show on next slide. Once you click the email group, it will direct as a correspondent the customer to the email group as just now I mentioned. Also can set the unlimited plan of the additional recipient email by provider email address to here. Here you can set the email cost. This one email address actually will capture based on the customer card file there. If let's say you want to additional to add other email or CC to who or BCC to who, you can set as many as you want, but also same, you can put the comma or semicolon to do the separate. And then you can put the format like this one, then you will show the name at when you send the email to the customer, not the email address. So maybe you can try to it. As just now I mentioned, for the customer mod, uh, module there, the customer maintenance screen card file, you will, you will be able to see the email group after you just now we set the email group setting here. It will directly to link to here, the customer card file there. So any, you, if once you assign or amend or reward the customer at the email group, it will directly update to the customer maintenance screen here. Therefore, system also allowed to assign or amend or reward the email group at the customer screen here directly also. Once you uh, reassign or amend or reward to the setting based on the customer, main screen, uh, customer maintenance screen here, it will also uh, reward from here. If you let's say uh, maybe this one, A, B, C, Sundial, perhaps you put under group A. If let's say you change to, to group B, it will directly to link to here to change it to the group B. So this is the sample as I mentioned. And then uh, you also can see this one no? just now, uh, cause this one is the browse screen. If let's say you select the customer, you double click here, you will able to see the customer card file there at the bottom there, you actually did, you got added this one, email group statement ID. You just need to, if let's say system will auto add the customer recorder to, if let's say here you change, the here also will change. Okay, so this is a setting. Okay. So this is the sample to do the customer statement by email group. At here, just now we select by customer. At here, you have to buy email group. And then if let's say you send the email is for sales group A, then you can filter on here. If let's say you send, uh, you, if let's say you don't want to filter, also can. So later I will show you the next screen, how if let's say you know filter, how system to detect uh, different email group, cause different email group, you have the different email to represent, to send out. Uh, and then got different template for that. So I will show you later. And then here, here I have to take note, by email group here, uh, the normal email is uh, unable to use you're just able to use the batch email on it. That's why here you can see the icon button here is dim ID. Okay. After you click the batch email, same, you can see the result screen 
with this welcome screen. And then here, as I just now mentioned, if let's say you just now know filter the email group, here you can see the different email group, the different, uh, if let's say you got two email group under just now, so here you can click this two, uh, the next one or previous one to review the template. Here you can see actually uh, system here will not have the, that just now, cost just now by customer here, you can see got one account button. Another is the template button. For here, no, don't have ID. Cause this one you have to set as the just now the company email group and the company email template ID. So that one you have to set at the default there. Here you cannot set anything because this one by email group, we assume is the you represent the company ID, not represent by your own self. That's why here we uh here you can see uh, your template actually is uh by the department for the company. Okay. So here also we we'll, if let's say here cost got two email group, that's why here. When you click on the e recipient list here, you can see the two email group here. For it here also same as just now the by customer that part you can take to if let's say uh, some of the recipient you don't want to send, you want to opt up, you can uncheck here. So when you uncheck here, we will not show idea. So if let's say now I got selected four, here also like just now, before you click, actually it's blank. So you have to click at selected recipient, then only will show the recipient listing to here. So uh, you have to click the send here to start to send the email. So here also same you show the, fields process if let's say you got the few email to send out if let's say the here you can see uh, the process log that why the server reject cause the response is uh, maybe the email no longer accepted mail or maybe invalid email here you can see okay so refrain return function also same lot on available for the fill email process. So once you, you let's say fill, you want to send, you just click, you, you want to resend, you just click send, it will send again. For the success record, you will not be sent again. So this is the output. Actually it's no different. The different part on the template here, how, what you already key in at the, uh, the template there. So just follow on it. So actually it's the different by email group or by customer actually it's depend on the user uh, how they want to, which one you want to use. Uh. Okay. So every send out the email, every time you send out the email or the batch email function system will auto generate the PDF attachment file storage at the locker folder. It will store at the, our smart app folder C drive there, liner mode, and then you will see uh, one folder name is name email. So under the email folder, you will see two folder. One document folder is a, uh, if let's say you send the basic, the one, the email function by, if let's say you send a uh, quotation or invoice will be shown at here. For the batch email, you will show customer statement batch. You will show the batch folder here. So you double click this folder, you can see the batch you let's say you got send 10 customer under this batch, you will show the 10 attachment PDF file inside here. Okay. 
here will be got the sum of the technical information as uh, so here for the dealer part maybe you can try to uh, do some of the checking cause the just now the email account password actually uh, we encrypted already uh, so you will user will no need to uh, share the our support here know the password actually encrypted so we cannot see the password so it will store in the database table under the ac company email setting and then the company email template will, un will, score un will store under the customer statement <coughs> in database table and then the email message sent is stored in the database AC email log. And then you can refer to this one, email group customer. <coughs> so this is the table here. So you can try to check out under the table here. You can see the our log message. Email log also will be stored at here. So at last, I uh, have to take note. If let's say, uh, dealer there or support there when you do the testing on the customer data or the user database have to ensure not sending on behalf of user customer there lah. so this one even the user here also have to take note up. maybe you do the testing then you click send maybe you send the statement to your customer already so have to make sure if let's say you do the testing for the user also have to ensure your database the email setting is will not to send to customer if not then your customer will suddenly will receive your statement or document so this one have to take note okay so just now is the email function enhancement. Now we will go through the revenue terminal integration enhancement. Now today we got the terminal for this one revenue integration. That means if let's say some of the user they got interest to use the uh, card terminal or QR e-wallet terminal you can apply for this one revenue terminal so for this one <clears throat> we got the add the new payment type for the post here name is as a revenue card and revenue qr but this one have to requirement to update until the version uh, start from the version 2021.1 build 2 only got this one in, uh, integration. So for, <clears throat> and then for Dynamo is the Hostfix 4 or, or both only will get these features. So here you can see. So this is the integration revenue terminal. This is the guideline actually. And so here also got mentioned the which uh as just now i mentioned which version start got this uh integration touch pro touch of mb here will be some of the content for the payment type setup how to do the gl mapping like that lah. and then the payment type template setup then download to post how to use at the post system to do the configuration okay so for dynamo have to do this three setting payment type setup so payment type setup you can see check on the post management setup and then the post payment type and the payment type here to get this one so if let's say you apply the revenue terminal to use card then you have to set the revenue card you give a code so the code and description depends on the user so this one have to set the revenue card lock. and then the revenue QR also if let's say the user got apply for the e-wallet under this revenue terminal then have to set the revenue QR 
so they will separate the so if let's this two you have to separate to do two button no? if let's say uh got apply this revenue terminal then you have to set two setting one is for cut one is for qre wallet okay for here once you set once you set the just now the payment type it will prompt the payment mapping that means uh <clears throat> for this payment type you want to do the gmail gl payment mapping actually if let's say you miss this part id you can come to the common module setup company default setting and then you go through the payment account here post payment account here you find got you got follow out this one gl mapping for payment collection it will come up to this screen so you can set the payment code as just now i set for cut and qr you want to mapping to which account account code for my site uh, practice we will try to create the new account code like this one so the account code also depend on the user uh, what account code what account number you want to set also can and the description also can uh. so uh, qr we will set one account number and card will be set one account number but some of the user maybe they want to combine together on one account also can depends on the how how they do the account uh. so here you will see after you just now we i set the account number you will see on this screen you just set for just now i set the revenue card we've got mapping to the revenue account uh, for revenue qr we set for uh, revenue qr account at the post system there we have to set one more template because just now we set up the is under payment type if let's say the user got their own template set, uh, payment type template, so here they have to uh, put in to insert just now uh, the added new payment type under the template here. Then the post only can download to get these two payment method. Okay. So after set up at the Dynamo there, download the payment type. Lo. You can click the payment type, the client socket there, you click the update. Then it will update just now what we set the payment revenue payment type to the poll system. So poll system there have to make sure the this one configuration. So one plug into the PC there, one plug to the revenue terminal there then you try to go through the smart app and touch pro folder unzip this one revenue mobile tem template terminal to unzip here then you will inside the folder you will see the usb driver mm, then you click the one click start uh, one click install it will install until the finish okay for here actually you can try to fire up the at the device manager there and expand the port com and com port and lpt here you see this one revenue terminal is using which com port cost uh, you have to come to post system here to set the revenue com port is under which com port. Once you setting this one, when you try to do a transaction, when the do the payment, you will see these two payment type. Okay, so here, so this is the revenue terminal integration some a sample lah. <coughs> So once you scan the item. Then you click the payment, you select the payment type. So here you just scan, click the payment type, and the customer just 
wave or use the pin then directly to get the payment. So this is the sample to do the payment. If let's say I want to do the, okay, so you, if you get the receipt and the merchant copy like this, so how to do refund? So we do the refund also send. You click the receipt here. You select the document to do the refund. When you do the refund, we will suggest to do the refund bill. Then you click yes. You will see this one from up. <coughs> Cause this one from up to mention this payment is underpaid by the revenue cut. So you have to refund as a revenue cut payment. Now. Unless you want to refund by, unless you want to refund by cash, then you click no, then you can refund by cash. If they say you want to refund by this terminal, then you can set by this one. So you will refund by the, so here is the word sales. That means it's refund on our system. So it's a direct linking. Uh. If you not to the cashier to manually to key in the card number or the. <clears throat> okay, so this is the way to use the revenue integration. Okay, so the next we will talk about the user password and the accessory enhancement. For here, we got enhanced the dynamo and post the password setting. First, when you set up the user, you can see the dynamo user set up here can set the password first to complexity or the password for the minimum length. That means you can set, if let's say you want maximum 10 or minimum, minimum is 10 digit or 10 alphabet, then you can set here. So we can see the, if let's say you use this one, false complexity, if the password you set is smart, when you got, they will prompt this message to inform you, you set the password must consist the uppercase, lowercase, digit, and special character. If you set the password minimum length, so same I set as much, then your password, uh, it will prompt the message at least eight. For the poll system also, we got uh, this kind of setting on the poll user setting. For, <clears throat> for the password now is a case sensitive for if let's say you, so for here, if let's say you take this one first com complexity, for last time uh, dynamo or the post there, even you set the password is a capital letter or small capital letter, the system now, the system have to, if let's say you got set this kind of the complexity setting, uh, when they log in to the post, that means if last time you set the password, like example, for last time, maybe uh, if let's say the normal you set the set smart, like that, okay, lah, no problem. If let's say the last time got set smart is big capital letter, then you have to, when, if let's say you set this one setting, when they, the setting download to the post already, then have to follow the big capital, cannot use more capital letter already. For the some of the user, if let's say they big, set big capital letter and small capital letter behind, this also same, they have follow the password, big cap or small cap. So this function is start from the build 10. 
and above only got this uh, setting. For dyno mode, also have to get a new, uh, I think it's a 2021.2 like that, only got this enhancement. Okay, so for here also send, you see, I set the password 1234, it will prompt the message, same as just now, will prompt to ensure the password must be the uppercase, lowercase, and digit and special character. This also send the blank password length. And then uh, you can click this one eye icon to view the password before when you save the password. So if let's say you set a big cap and small cap, then you can click this one icon, then you can see is it you set the password, is it correct or not? So for this one uh, setting, if let's say enforce the password for the post must be complexity validation, then you have to check on this checkbox at the company default setting here. So if you check post login password, use uppercase, or so have to take note if let's say you use the uppercase <coughs> or small. So if you uncheck, actually default is unchecked. Uh, so if unchecked, the post login password will use the normal case validation. No? <coughs> that means if you just now after you set the setting for post here, if let's say here you got set the uppercase or uh, and the small capital or big capital one, then you have to take this one. So the post must to enforce to use that same method. Okay. So for here also the password, you can see the view for just now I mentioned is, if let's say the password you set one A, B, C, one, two, three, like that, the A is a big uppercase. So for the login, the post cannot use the small cap radio, it must be the big A, B, C like that, cannot small A, B, C. <clears throat> So for the support backend setting, so we post for the dealer there, maybe you can see the setting at the management studio there, they got the table is a, is enforced password complexity for post user setting like that. So you can see it's Y or N. <laughs> okay, so, here we got one more enhancement to do the control user export the data from grid. Here you can see the dynamo user setting there. Default is check up. If let's say uh, don't want the user, this user to export the data from the grid there, you can come to here to uncheck. Then when there right click at the screen here to export the Excel or PDF. So here we prompt the message not allowed to export the data for your access right. So this is the setting. If let's say you uncheck here, then they're not allowed to. Okay, we got one more, the stock take enhancement to enhance the stock take to display some of the quantity for multi UM stock. By default, this three column you not uh, drag up. Uh, so you can right click at the header there to pull up from the column chooser there. You will see the accumulate old quantity, accumulate new quantity, and accumulate variance quantity. For here, you will sum of the quantity for the multi UM stock. That means if let's say, your stock is the multi um item. Usually, you do the stock take. You you do the stock take based on the stock like the carton or can or pack like that to do the stock take. But here you can see it will accumulate 
sum up the total. That means if let's say here you set eight to here, you will see the new quantity to here. You will show even this two here you didn't put is under it puts zero here for the new quantity. But system will calculate based on this one eight carton. You will also get thirty two pack or 192 can or unit. That means it will sum up for you based on the individual uh, UOM. It also will see the variance by individual as well. Cost based on the default here is uh, 9.37 like that. So you can see after you gain 8, you will see the variance is 1.375 like that. So this is the enhancement. You can see the sum up for the multi um item. <clears throat> okay, for this one, I have to take note is the value will only to reflecting for the new document. That means if let's say you upgrade to the latest version, only start from the new version, you create a new topic, only will get this one setting. So for previous document, may use the more here to refresh accumulate quantity to update the value to show here. That means for new upgrade, if let's say, uh, you upgrade to latest version ID. So actually the new stock take you will directly to reflect. Lah. If for the previous one, stock take, if let's say you want to show, you can to do the refresh accumulated quantity here. Okay, for next will be the import transaction enhancement. For here, you can see the Actually, this enhancement already got on the last version, but here we will got the enhancement to handle the discount column with formula. Last time, the discount column just put the amount on it, cannot buy formula. So now we ha can handle the discount column with the formula already. That's when uh, this one actually enhanced for the customer invoice and CN only. These two will be on the, you can get the new format on these two directory. So the header for the Excel there, actually last time is the discount amount, now change to discount ID. So you can see this is the discount amount, last time is so here, actually last time this Excel is the discount amount of the header, but now we enhance as to be the discount. So you can try to put the formula as you want to here. Then when import to the system there, it will do the calculations to do the discount amount. So you can click here to get the, if let's say you want to get, get the, this one template from the slide later, you can double to here to get it also. Okay, so for here, actually uh, our Dynamo also got the new hotfix for this version. Actually the hotfix one already released on the last one. 31st May. But for current, I think existing already until the hot fix for above some of the issue already to settle up. So here actually you want to see the change log. You can click here to see the change log. So for the this hot fix one, we got the enhancement for the marketplace and such giant by not allowed to create customer invoice if the already being generated. Lah. That means if the user, they create the sales order before, but they try to import 
the sales order to be owed by customer invoice. For here, if let's say last time they create the order by sales order, when they create again the invoice, they still can create at here. So now we will block this setting. So if let's say the order already create the sales order, it will not allow to create the invoice. Even though they create the invoice, they want to create the sales order system also will not allow. Lah. So here either you, if let's say these two column matching invoice or sales order got the document number here I, I, on either one. So another one document cannot create. Lah. So you will got the message like this one to show up. And then got the enhancement for the invoice. So usually if let's say the user they create the sales order when they import the sales order to DO, actually the DO there for sales order may if let's say the user the order they got the Shopee coin or Shopee voucher. If the the amount is the negative one, then actually you can see the quantity if the negative here. When import to the DO, actually the DO will not show this one Shopee coin. But now you uh for this enhancement enhancement for the Shopee, this one marketplace order, they import to DO system will accept the negative quantity for this DO here. That means the amount will not differ. No? Cost, if let's say the sales order here, the sum up figure should be 21.75. You got minus, got discount, this one 725 cents. For before the previous version, actually here you will not see the this one uh, minus seven ringgit 25 cent cost the DO is logic is cannot accept the negative quantity. So here will not, uh, so here will not to uh, get this one seven ringgit 25 cent discount. <coughs> but for this matter, we have to take note is when import to the DO here have to buy document full document matching. If not, uh, if you not do by full document matching, you will not include this one. So that means the sales order, you, let's say you create already, you want to import to this one DO, have to uh, import by full document matching. So here also the DO to import to invoice also have to buy full document matching as well. Cost last time when you from DO they already missing the Shopee coin. So when import to invoice also will missing. That's why if the figure just now should be twenty one seventy five cent. But for the previous version, you will see twenty nine ringgit. It will not show this one. So now you can system accept the DO can put the negative quantity for the marketplace order. So here, when you import to here, also we will we get this uh, actual amount sent as the buyer information at your Shopee seller center. Okay. So this is the sample before enhancement. So here you can see it. The uh, actually this uh this. Sales, uh, the sales order actually when uh, actually got the Shopee coin when import to DO, it will be missing. That's why you can see the figure actually is not daily with the uh, if let's say you got try on your your site, when you try to import to DO, actually will be missing this one Shopee coin. So this is the sample. So for post there, we actually here also today will be brief some of the post system. Lah. 
the enhancement. So for the post there, actually we got enhance the menu function same as the touch FMB. Last time this one actually the menu function actually uh, only allowed at the touch FMB only. But for now, even touch FMB also, last time we got the limitation for this menu, only maximum five menu for this screen only. But now we can more than five already. So you can use the scroll bar to scroll the six and seven or more than five menu from here also. Okay, for the build for 2021.1, we got the setting to change this logo. Cause based on this, usually you can see this one uh, is for our smart logo here. So here, if let's say some of the user, they want to put their own logo to here, then they can change from here. You can put the path under the post there. And then the point to show for the ink cut also got show the point expiry information. So this one actually, uh, if let's say the package is the point and credit or the point package, so they can see the point expiry when they check the balance, they can see the expiry date for the point when the expiry, so you can check here. And then the exchange. So for the touch FMB or touch flow, usually uh, if, uh, if the user want to exchange, they have to click the refund or they have to they have to click the refund, then to click the cancel back to the this order screen to do the refund, uh, to, to do the exchange, sorry. Or they manually to insert the, <clears throat> manually to insert the quantity to negative based on the, this button as minus. So now, you can do the exchange, then you can select the item, then click yes. It will back to the order screen here to show the item to do exchange. If the user, they want to exchange the another item. So here, they, after they click to here, it order, back to order screen here, user can get the, <coughs> they can get the, New I scan one more item what they want to replace. So this is the exchange method for the post there. Lah. So this is today uh, this is today new enhancement briefing. So thank you all. So uh, now we open for some uh, Q and A section. If you have anything you would like mm -hmm. us to clarify more regarding today's topic. For the Q&A, they got oh. Taurus to ask why the why, why need to put the small cap MM in big cap. This is the Windows setting actually. For actually, we get from the window mm -hmm. format. So yeah. Yeah. Y is for year, small Y, and the big M is for month. If you put small M, it's the minute. Mm, yeah. So this is to let you all know why this is the this uh, the date instruction from the Windows OS. So can we set different transaction have different email template? Kelvin Hong, is it? They asked the different. He asked the different transaction. Oh, I, I think it's a different email template lah, because there's a at the email batch email setting there, we can set different template for different department, right? If let's say they not use the email batch email, the normal email that one function also can set that 
email templates is based on if let's say transaction for the quotation, they will got quotation format. If uh, invoice got invoice format, DO got DO format like that. Based on the document type, not based on the transaction. So did we just now cover that uh, the email PDF uh, when it generated, where will this file keep? Smart at Dynamo, you will get the email folder here. Then you can see the document folder for the email function, that one. Mm -hmm. If the batch email, you will come to the customer statement batch folder. That means the email folder will got two folder inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is there any lock can uh what any lock keep for the email send? If support there they can check on the management studio they got the I think that one I not include at this mm -hmm. slide. Uh. Maybe later we will I will put on the slide there mm -hmm. when sent out. Uh. Because today got a user is an end user, not the dealer only. That's why I don't have code at the slide there. Okay, understood. They will got the if check on the data database table there. We got the AC email log table like there. So also, uh, there's some questions at the mm -hmm. Q and A there for the update. Do they have to update all computers with the latest update or, on, or can it be individual means that some use the new, some use the old one? For the version update, have to update, upgrade to the later version first. If let's say some of the user, they got different hotfix, maybe the server, they already updated to the hotfix 4, la, but some of the user they're not necessary to update the hotfix then they can maintain hotfix zero or hotfix one or previous hotfix also never mind but version must no, must be same about post if they update the dynamo and post we only it will work or post, post if can you also have to upgrade it to the latest version as well so if they don't update Will the post show some error? The socket will get the error because if let's say you don't have upgraded to latest version, will maybe will show the some of the error because some of the table got enhanced already. So if let's say they don't have latest version for the post, then maybe will prompt some of the message there. So this is have to take note. If can get the same version. Is it okay? Yeah, so also the update uh, problem. Uh, for the hotfix, uh, is that necessary for every time to update? Uh, actually, it depends. Uh. Mm. Yeah, always uh, you can check the, we have the, the just now at the beginning of the section, Alpha did mention, we have, there is our fresh test there to check what is enhanced in the hotfix. Is it, uh, suitable for you or you have to update for one. Okay. So we now move on to some, some questions regarding the revenue link with credit card. Can the terminal be wireless or it must be connected to the post? For the integration, it must be connected to the post. That's why the, there is a cable there. Mm -hmm. When you have that terminal, usually they will have a one meter cable come together. If you don't have, then you can, uh, or you want to, you want to do integration, but you don't have the cable, you can contact us uh, or your uh, service provider. Then uh, you can purchase the cable to be integrated. And. Uh, uh, there is a question that maybe I can give us some feedback. Will you encounter when you uh, help the customer to upgrade to the latest version, will you, will you encounter the dynamo becomes slower? If let's say you're facing this issue, maybe you can 
lot of case for the help desk to simulate mm. this issue. Because uh, this, uh, the, you, it means the slower cost for the dynamo because of the upgrade. It, it's actually not applied to everyone. Uh. Sometimes it will happen at some uh, PC. So they need to test what is its cost first and then also only they can provide the solution for you. Yeah, so some of them have this uh, slower problem because it's a uh, new table added. Uh, so the re index will help, uh, but still need to test what is the problem cost the slower, then only we can provide the suitable solution. Okay, so here maybe I show just mm -hmm. now got a panelist, got a, got a user asked where to get the log file for the email sent. So maybe you can try to check on, for the support, maybe you can check on this one, AC email log, up, then you can get this one. <laughs> So this is the new table, email group, email log, and email object as template like that. Uh, thank you all of us to stay with us in this one and a half, almost, thing, almost two hours. And today's response is very great. I hope that you all learned something new today and what we have mm -hmm. done at our new version 2021.2. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Alpha, for today's sharing. Please actually, please. we actually we got a one more price book. Uh, maybe if got interest, maybe you can ask. Maybe, yeah, maybe to, we can put that at the next section because uh, next uh, section. To, today already uh, too much information. Uh, right. So that one, if let's say dealer there got interest, they can ask Simon there, then we can do one more section for yes. that one. Yes. Yes. And also, we hope that next our next uh, section of this uh, uh, version upgrade uh, briefing, we will see you all again. Uh, yes, uh, just a very thank you for all of you joining us today. So uh, I will like to end the section here. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll see you all again. Thanks, Afat. Thanks, Thanks Simon. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Stay safe. Huh?